Okay, this is another tutorial by Josh, and this one's in response to a request. Uh, this guy asked me to show how to set up a simple web server that would um, handle HTTP request and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm assuming you've already got your web server set up, and by default, any web server that's set up and running should uh, handle basic HTTP requests. Like, for instance, anytime you go to a web page, it uh, the server you you the client sends HTTP request to to the server to get the information on that page. Like here's a uh, image off Wikipedia, and uh, this guy sent a uh, get HTML request to Wikimedia to get the wiki slash main page, and there are the response headers that the server sent in response and uh, response body of the page. But anyway, to the more interesting part of the question, let's say you had a server that you wanted to, you wanted to send like a file request to, or create a page that when the user clicked on a link, it would send an HTTP request to the server to download a file. Now you have to do this using uh, server-side scripting. And I'm going to use PHP because it's sort of my preferred language. And in my index page, I just made a link to a PHP page called getfile.php to get the file. Bam. In the PHP page, I set the content type of the HTTP header or the uh, content type header of HT the HTML page to be a PDF. And I set the content disposition header to be an attachment. Set the file name and the file name that would default that it would give the uh, downloaded PDF by default, and I told the PHP to read the PDF file, which I just called original.php. Now let's see this in action. Okay. You get a local host. There's the page. Links to the get file.php page. Click on it, download it.pdf, same as specified in the script. I can open it or save it. Turn on like, and it opens the PDF. Now, if you want to get really clever with this, you could write some PHP scripts to go through basically just like index your file system or whatever and just spit out the file names and make links automatically. You could, uh, download that way which would really be interesting you'd have to do some like if else statements to analyze the um file extensions and uh set your headers you know based on those facts but it'd be a really interesting thing to do and this concludes this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it uh subscribe to my channel give me a request and i'll see what i can do to help you and uh have a good night